Hey guys and welcome to this week's video. Now this week has been another week full of pain for me. It's been pretty crap. My illness has been playing up yet again and I have been in a lot a lot of pain so I thought I would talk about it this week. Now I have been, I have had an illness for over five or six years. We couldn't work out which year it was. So it's either five or six years and I have, for those five or six years, had no days without pain. Every day I am in pain, but the pain level changes, obviously. I take a lot of tablets, I have regular doctor's appointments. Over the years, more illnesses have come along, like if you watched me last year, you will now know that I have trouble with the fluid on my brain. When a physical illness plays up and sort of makes itself more known than usual, it causes your mental health and your state of mind to take a big nosedive. So this past few weeks, I have just found it so hard to motivate myself because when you're in so much pain, you can't see the positive. You can't see the good in every day. You can't find something to look forward to. You're only focusing on what you can do to get some relief for the pain and try to work out why that pain is happening again. It makes your mental health just absolutely horrible. My thoughts about myself and my life have been horrible. I've been falling into past habits with the way I've been thinking and just I've noticed that my outlook on life has just taken a huge nosedive. That's hard because when you have a mental illness and a physical illness you have to find a balance where if one plays up it can't affect the other. Now it's obviously easier with a physical illness because there's medication, there's doctors, there's a lot of you know, it's easier to often find sort of what's wrong and sol solve that quicklier. So normally I can sort of live a life with minimum amount of pain. I am in pain every single day. I take tablets every single day. I have, you know, for over five or six years now, whichever year it is, I have not lived a pain-free day. But I have learned to live with that. I've learned to live with the types of pain that I have. I have learned to know when, what types of pain are different and all of that. So the physical illness side doesn't seem to bother me as much as the mental health side. So like, obviously my mental health has been taking over a lot of my life lately. But when one of my physical illnesses play up, which means it's more painful than usual, something aggravates it and basically leaves me in absolute agony, which is what I've been in for the past few weeks. It's hard to find a balance where I am dealing with trying to figure out what the heck is happening on the physical side without it affecting me mentally too much. And I have not found it. <laughs> this week especially has been really, really hard because I have been sort of trapped inside. I haven't really been able to go anywhere. I've just been cuddled up with a hot water bottle, just taking my tablets, not really doing anything, just in an excruciating amount of pain, waiting for something to give and to find some sort of relief. And when you have that lifestyle, it's going to affect your mental health. And it affected mine and I fell back into old habits of the way of thinking about my life and the outlook on life. When my illness plays up, it it manipulates my outlook on life mentally. Because I've had these illnesses for so long and I feel pain, I've had this pain for so long, when they play up, it sort of just makes me hate my life and wonder if my life is really worth living. If it's just full of pain and sadness and I hate my life. So that's sort of what I've been feeling this week when I've been in a lot of pain, my mental side has sort of also come along and said, is your life really worth it? What's so good about living life in pain constantly? And I've been battling, trying to find this happy medium between my two illnesses and I just have not found a balance. And I know that when my physical side calms down again, whenever that will be, then I can focus on the mental side a bit more. The longer the physical pain lasts, the worse my thoughts get and that's quite scary because 
you work so hard on finding tips and tricks to how to deal with scary thoughts and you know when you go to therapy you work your way through problems and do all this work and then it can literally take a little trigger like for me my physical illness playing up to undo all of that work and have none of that work work anymore and it really really sucks so with my mental health just feeling utterly useless and crap it's just been really really hard to find a reason to keep going through the pain and to keep fighting because i know i can get through it because i've done it many times before but while you're in the middle of mentally in pain and physically in pain try and just get through that without burning yourself is really really hard and i'm finding it a lot harder lately to just find a reason to keep on going and to try and find that little rope to help pull me to safety where I can take a breath and then work on fixing myself again. So it's been a really, really hard week and I'm extremely exhausted because obviously I'm not getting much sleep and I'm just really, really fed up and would like a break from life. That is what I would. I, if I could press the pause button right now on my life, I would. Just to press pause and just take a breath and get some strength back to then carry on to fight. It would be amazing. But unfortunately that is not how life works and I just have to keep plodding onwards. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye guys.